we're going to draw the Venn diagram for A complement intersect B complement. I'm just going to draw my quick little two circle Venn diagram here where we have section A and section B. And I'm actually going to draw this two ways. The first way is reading it as is. A complement is math code for not inside of A. Intersect is code for and, meaning that this descriptor has to be true of a section and also this descriptor has to be true in order for you to shade it. And B complement gives you a descriptor of not inside B as well. So if we're going to shade a section of this diagram, it has to be a section that's not inside of A and also not inside of B. Well, that means that we're not allowed to shade anything in this A circle because it's inside A and we explicitly require not in A. And we can't shade anything inside B either because we're not allowed to be inside of B. The only section we are allowed to shade here is the outer portion. Now, I should have labeled that outer portion the way I shaded A and B. Most teachers will label this as S for sample space, but some teachers will do U for universe. Not to be confused with U for union, which isn't here yet, until I teach you one other way you can deal with these complements. If you remember factoring like 2x plus 6, if both of these are divisible by 6, you were allowed to pull the 2 out and then divide each of these by 2 separately. 2 times x plus 3 is the factored form of 2x plus 6, but they're equivalent expressions. They mean the same thing. You're actually allowed to, well, I don't know if you're mathematically allowed to, but this trick works. You're allowed to factor out a complement from both of these. I'm going to put them in brackets and put the complement on the outside. That's going to help me factor it out of both the A and the B, so I'm left with A and B. The only trick is that when you do that, you have to flip this sign as well. So, A complement intersect B complement is equivalent to A union B all complemented. Now, I'd just like to remind you that A union B is when you get to shade anything that is inside of A and also you can shade whatever's inside of B. The effect of complement here is that you basically reverse the shading on every single section. These three sections, which were shaded here, are now not shaded. And the one that was not shaded here is now shaded. That's the effect of complement. So you can either do this raw, not inside of A and not inside of B, or you can draw a union B, and then reverse all of the shadings. Which way do you prefer? Honestly, it would be really nice if you understood both. And uh, that's just what I'm going to counsel you to do. Hey, thanks for being with me and best of luck.